go ahead and open up the driver's side door now right over there is the primary hood release lever pull it now in front of the vehicle right on top of the nissan emblem there on that one side put one finger in there and push it left while it's pushed left open up the hood this hood requires a prop rod to stay in place so grab the rod put it right over there in that slot with the arrow marking it put it in pull it back and now the hood is secure in place now that's your battery right there for this job you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench or a 10 millimeter socket ratchet combination if you will use a socket ratchet combination make sure it's like a long socket because it needs to fit over that long stud first we'll start taking off the negative terminal wire just loosen this nut enough that we can wiggle the wire off the battery post just like this get it out and set it aside repeat the process for the positive terminal the other one there same idea just loosen this enough that you can get the wire off the battery post get it out now let's start taking off those nuts for the battery bracket and you need to take those nuts off completely get the nut out and keep it somewhere safe repeat the process for the other one once it gets a little bit loose it may feel like the rod underneath there is is moving but don't worry just keep at it take the nut off completely i'll show you what the rod looks like where it fits in all of that stuff in detail in just a second now we need to take out one more bolt that's the one over there get that out as well at this point you can get the entire bracket out get the wires out of there and now we can get the battery out so be careful don't drop the battery and damage the vehicle or hurt yourself let's get this jacket out that's the plastic tray on which the battery rests you don't have to get it out i'm just getting it out just in case yours comes out now that's the rod it should not come out but if yours comes out i'll show you how to put it back in the other one should stay in place because there's a clip holding it in place get the hook arm of this rod in and once it's in just twist it and now you can let it go it's not going to fall in all the way it's just going to rest right over there this plastic tray it's got one two and three dimples goes right over there with the three holes align it put it down and that's it now it's in place it's not moving that's good the battery is a group 35 battery that's the battery size this is a 550 cold cranking amps positive size marked with a plus and negative with the minus put the battery in and make sure you position it the way i'm showing negative side should be toward the front of the vehicle the positive to the back get the jacket on and when you put the jacket on make sure you don't get any of the rods trapped inside it yep get the rod out get the jacket on all the way Let's put the bracket back on and just get it on like this. This is where you have to pay attention. Get the rod, pull it up as much as you can. And while you're pressing down on the rod, get the bracket over it and through the hole. Keep on pressing on the rod there. Get the nut on and just hand tighten the nut. Now let's put the other nut on. At this point, you can just tighten both those nuts down. Going all the way again. If the rod is spinning, just apply some pressure on it and then tighten the nut. Repeat the process for the second one, and that's it. Now, let's put that third bolt back on. In my case, my bolt was kind of rusted, so I'm replacing it with another one. And you may have to loosen that fourth nut in order to get a better fit of the third bolt, but yeah, just loosen it, adjust it, tighten it down. At this point, it should the bracket should be firmly in place and the battery shouldn't be moving first put the positive terminal wire on push it down all the way it should go in all the way that's why we get good contact and let's tighten this up that's good it's now moving and i'll repeat the process for the negative terminal push it down all the way and again just tighten this up make sure it's now moving and that is looking good now let's go inside the car and try this out see if it actually starts up everything is good turn the engine on and yes it starts up that one triangle warning light is because of the tpms issue and that's been there before they're replacing the battery too so don't worry about that but yeah everything is looking good the radio is turning on and that is pretty much it to close the hood first push it and take load off the prop rod get the rod out of that slot put it back in its place now lower the hood and slam it shut hope you found it useful